Hi everyone, I'm Andy Jenks, Director of Communications and Public Relations. I'm the guy who tells you when we're closed or if we have a delay related to winter weather. In terms of the reaction we get, there is nothing else quite like the decision to close or delay school. We hope this video sheds a little more light on how it happens. There is no secret command center, no wall of high-tech monitors and computers. We simply look at the local weather forecasts just like you do. If there's going to be snow, freezing rain, or maybe dangerously cold wind chills, we start talking about the possibilities, especially as they relate to safety. When we have snow, sleet, and ice on the road, the bus can be much more difficult to handle. Even a small amount of snow or ice can be cause for concern. Uh, if a driver is trying to put on brakes or go around a curve, the bus might start to slide. And the smallest incline on a road can really exacerbate these situations. When necessary, we also have our own people drive the roads, from the densely populated neighborhoods to the more rural areas. We can't cover the entire 245 square miles of Henrico County, but we get a good idea of what's on the ground and how that might adversely affect our 72 schools and program centers. As well as uh, when they arrive to the school, we have to ensure that our facilities, that the parking lots are clear, the sidewalks are clear, that we are, are fully operational inside. No matter what we do, the one thing we hear consistently is to make the decision as early as possible. That means if we can, we'll tell you the night before a change to the schedule. Families have to make arrangements. Uh, there may be either work challenges or child care challenges that, they have, that have to be addressed. And in some cases, parents have to pl plan to be home with their children. So the sooner that families know that, the better off um, they are. Every weather event is unique. Every decision is made on a case-by-case -case basis. But the timing, the temperature, the wind chill, the amount of accumulation, and the start time of that accumulation is different each and every time. We want our students to be in school as much as possible. And so to make a decision not to have them go to school is a very difficult one. But ultimately, we have to consider the safety of students. And when you need to know quickly, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, get us on the web or on TV, or wait for the phone call and email to arrive. For all of us here at Henrico County Public Schools, I'm Andy Jenks. Thanks for watching.